Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick plan with me, oops, sorry, hit my system, for the month of July, um, and I am going to use a kit that I got in an oops bag, and I'm going to hack it a little bit, just because I can, for the fun of it. Um, this is a Mandy Lynn Plans uh, kit, one of her July kits, that I got in an oops bag that I purchased from her. Um, and, you know, just so that you guys know, her oops bags are fabulous. I mean, half the time I can't even tell why something is in an oops bag. Um, I did this cut that did not come this way, and I will explain why in just a minute. This is actually a weekly kit. Um, but I am going to hack it to fit my monthly because it's so pretty. I want to use it for the month. Um, and this also came in the oops bag. Um, so it's a whole kit. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that down real quick and um, show you kind of how I how I do my monthly. Okay, so first of all, I am going to put down washi. Now I already trimmed it to length um, so that it would fit grid to grid. Um, that's why you see that flap hanging off of there. I just did that prior to beginning the recording. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lay the top strip down. Now keeping in mind, again, this is a weekly kit. So I am sort of hacking this to fit in the monthly. Um, this is going to be a little bit wider than I wanted. It, it would go all the way to the edge of the page, which I decided I did not want. So I decided to go ahead and trim it down using a paper cutter because I could not find my slice tool. Turns out my husband had quote unquote borrowed it and not put it back and I have since found it and it is much better than the paper cutter. Um, and as you can see, I did trim that a little too much. It is now a little too narrow, which is a little bit bothersome to me, but I will survive. And this bottom washi, um, again, since it's not intended for the monthly, is a little bit too wide or tall. It would encroach upon the bottom boxes of the calendar. So I am just going to trim a bit off the top and I learned my lesson from the rectangle. I am not going to take as much as I think I need. And lo and behold, it fits perfectly. So I'm just gonna lay that down and it fits between the bottom of the page and the bottom of the calendar boxes. And having already trimmed it to length, I just lay it down and move on to the next. Since I know exactly how much needs to go off of it, I'm just going to do exactly the same thing with the second piece for the other side. It ends up being just a smidge less than a quarter of an inch being cut off. <clears throat> and as you can see here, it again fits perfectly. Now normally the strips in her monthly kits are already obviously cut to size, um, but since this is a weekly kit, I'm just making it work for me. Um, the next bit that I am going to do here is I'm going to take the skinny washi that's included and I'm going to use it to just cover up the date in these boxes over here that is the beginning of September. Again, normally her monthly kits come with coverage for any extraneous days. Um, either at the beginning or the end of the month. But again, since I'm hacking, that was not the case. So I just took that skinny washi and as you can see, it fits almost perfectly in that space. I'm then going to lay down some checklist stickers. I tend to use my monthly kit mainly for budget purposes. So I like to list out my bills that are due each month and have a little checkbox so that I can check them off when they have been paid. Helps just keep me straight with what's been paid and what's not. I have a tendency especially to pay things when I'm laying in bed at night and I think about it at 11 o'clock at night. So it helps that I can then go in the next morning and, and put down that I actually did pay it. I don't have to worry about it on the day of. Um, and then I'm going to just take one of the boxes and use it as a header to label bills. And then I also have a birthday this month. It is my sister-in-love's 
birthday on the 31st of July. So she kicks off the um, birthday extravaganza that is our family, um, starting with her birthday on July 31st. All but two of our family members on my husband's side. So his mom and dad, his brother, his brother's wife, their kids, um, myself, my kids, my husband, we all have birthdays in the fall. So she's the first, July 31st, and then it gets more and more chaotic until I think the vast majority of birthdays we have are in September and October. Um, and then they peter out in November, and we have none in December, and then we have two in April. And it's, it's just the oddest spread of birthdays in our family. So, um, I did also get this in the oops bag. These are her typical weekly or, you know, day of the week stickers. Um, these were in the oops bag because they printed, I think, um, her printer was running out of ink. So they're beautifully cut. Nothing wrong with the stickers physically other than the fact that a couple of them printed a bit, um, light or fading in a couple of different places of the word. So perfectly serviceable. And I'm just using that to indicate the days of the week across that top washi. And then I'm just going to write in a couple of things that I have, um, the bills. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's my month by and large. Okay, so as you can see, um, this hacks beautifully. Um, I already had laid that down and it's not removable, so I'm just going to leave it. That's from Paint Station, um, the Independence Day sticker. But So this was a weekly kit, and as you can see, um, that was separate. Um, I used some of the checklists. I used this big box, which is normally the top of a um, sidebar. So it's a little bit wider than your standard grid and I cut it down and then I ended up cutting it down too much but you know whatever I'll live with it um, and then I cut um, because I prefer my washi to stop at the grid I did go ahead that's why I had this cut um, and I did use this bit of washi here since this is not a monthly kit it didn't have anything to cover the beginning of August so I just use that there and I'll use this for a list or something um, but that's a, that's a, this is a great hack for you. Um, if you end up with a weekly kit that maybe you decide you don't want to use for a weekly, or in this case, I've been on the hunt. I've been waiting for shops to put July monthlies out and no one has any yet. Um, so I was super excited to get this in an oops kit. And like I said, I can almost never tell why some of her stuff is on an oops. <laughs> Kit. She is extremely picky about the orders that she sends out, which is wonderful. Um, so a lot of her oops stuff is, I mean, essentially flawless. Um, like this, I think the circles are ever so slightly cut to the side. I mean, they're still completely covered, so I'm not sure. I mean, it's not a big deal. They're still completely colored. But um, I think that's why this was. And my daughter is melting down, so I think this video is about done. It's nap time. But I just wanted to show you a quick, fun little hack that I could do. Um, and this is an adorable kit. Uh, this isn't even in her shop yet, uh, as of this filming. It will be by the time this video goes up. But um, this was too cute to, to pass up. And this is basically my layout for the month. I'll just list my bills here with uh, the dates that they're due and fill in any important information as the month goes on that I need to remember. So that is my monthly. It's just a quick plan with me and I hope you enjoyed this kit from Mandy Lynn Plants. We'll see you guys next time.